Hi everyone, I'm Shauna and welcome to the channel. Today I have a really fun fall video and I'm gonna be transitioning my wardrobe for fall. And so I'll talk you through the process, what I do and what I'm looking for. It's gonna be a lot of fun and I'm just really excited for fall so this feels like the perfect moment. I like to do this before I buy anything new because it's been eight-ish months since I've worn many of these clothes or most of these clothes and i do forget what's in there i think it's also important to do this to see if what i have matches my vision or to see how i can make what i have match my vision for the season i've talked all about my fall style in a recent video and i am just itching to play with my clothes and pull out my fall wardrobe and i'm excited to do that today before we get into it, I do want to talk about today's sponsor, and that's Vivaya. Vivaya is an ethical and sustainable shoe company. They've been on the channel before last fall, and they're back again because I just love them so much. I have a couple of pairs of shoes to show you today, and what I really like about this brand, what makes them unique, is that the knitting for their shoes are made out of recycled plastic. They use marine plastic as well as recycled water bottles to make the knitting for their shoes. And guys, their most of their shoes are machine washable. So you can just stick this whole thing in the washing machine or you can pull out your sole and put your shoe in the washing machine. It's amazing and you get more longevity with your shoe. Most of their shoes are machine washable, some of them aren't. And when you go to the landing page of each specific style, it'll let you know there really clearly. Favaya also ships all of their shoes in plastic free packaging so it's all paper and cardboard and they're also committed to ethical working conditions in their factories so there's a lot of great things about the brand that makes them a go-to choice for me when i'm shoe shopping the two pairs of shoes i have to show you today are perfect for fall and transitional dressing and the first pair are the aria 5.0 so this is their most classic style and they have it in 37 colorways so I picked the black pair because I want a shoe that is an all year round staple. But if you're looking for a pop of color or something that's a little bit more moody for fall, they got you covered. The 5.0s have a wider toe box. They also have a really comfortable sole and they've also added in this little piece at the back for extra comfort and to prevent blisters. Now these shoes are super, like they're super comfortable, super flexible. The footbed is actually great and moisture wicking. So when you're walking around, your feet aren't getting all sweaty. I wore these downtown Toronto for several hours walking around the city and they have been very comfortable. And I, what adds to the comfort is not just the footbed, but it's the knitting of the material. And over time, as you wear them, they just become even more comfortable. They are comfortable right out of the box and I have not had any break in time and I also have not gotten any blisters. The second pair are the Lillian's and these are a slingback shoe with a little bit of a heel. I think these are great for fall transitional dressing as well because I'm not fully ready to get rid of every summer piece in my wardrobe and these allow me to have just like a little bit of summer left and pairing this with more fall inspired outfits and pieces. These shoes are also very cushioned. I think you can see a little bit of that right here and you notice when you put your foot into the shoe. In terms of sizing, I wear a 36 or a 6 in flats and sandals and that is the sizing of both of these shoes, which is perfect for me. So I would suggest keeping with your flat or sandal sizing if you're purchasing those here as well. I think Vivai has something for everybody. They don't just have so many beautiful colorways, but they have a lot of different styles from mules and heels to running shoes, as well as other kinds of flats and boots. If you're looking to pick up some new shoes this fall season, I highly recommend Vivaya. And if you use the code Shauna Vivaya, then you'll get 15% off your purchase. Thank you so much to Vivaya for sponsoring today's video and let's get into it. All right, we're going to head into my closet real soon, but if you're looking to do a little of an audit or transitioning your wardrobe moment, let's just talk about that first. Because I live in a climate that does experience four seasons, transitional dressing can be very funky with any season. Within the next month itself, we're gonna have days that could go down to let's say five degrees, but also be 30 degrees. 
So the goal for me is to have the majority of my clothing in that middle temperature, basically the temperature that it'll be for most of the next handful of months, and then keep just a couple of items on either end of the spectrum. The, the items that will be good for when it's really hot or on just at the colder spectrum of the season. Some of the first things to go are the things that just feel the most summery. So let's say you want to keep one dress and one pair of shorts. I'll take out all the dresses that just feel too summery. And even if they're a summer favorite, I won't wear them if I'm like already in the fall state of mind. I do recommend pulling everything out and... The same thing with your fall stuff, just pulling it out, touching it, feeling it, seeing you know, how you feel about it. Because sometimes when you see something in the drawer and you're ready to pass it over, but then like you pull it out, it just, it just gives you that something. Like, you know, I like holding it in my hands. I also suggest doing this when you're feeling particularly inspired for the season because it just makes it more of an experience and much more fun. And I'm feeling that today really hard. So let's go jump into my closet. Okay, we're in the closet now. Hello, closet, you, you're acquainted. Majority of things are in here. There's only a handful of things that are, that are dirty at the bottom. You can see my really beautiful piles. I have some sweaters that I pulled out there. There are some extra pants there and you can't see, but in the corner is like my pile of shorts. I just wanna pull out the stuff that, let's say it was 30 degrees right now. Let's say it, or 27. It was warm but I wouldn't pull these because I'm just not in the summer frame of mind. Some easy choices. This guy, time to leave. I hate to say goodbye to this guy, but it's t the flutter sleeves are just too summery for me to wear it. So, bye bye Will I wear a tank top? Probably not. So I put two on one hanger here. I actually think I might just leave this one because if I'm like really hot, I'll wear this. Technically the blue is a more fall colorway, but I just love this color so much. And it's fall for me too. So we'll keep that in. Also summer are my striped tees. I've enjoyed them and now it's it's time to say goodbye. I feel like I could maybe make this work for fall. So you know what, I'll, I'll take this one out and I'll just keep this one because I do love, I do love a striped shirt. It's an all year round pattern for me. For, for me, I think what makes this one summer is the texture. Can we see? It's like a, almost like a linen type of material. So we'll take that out. The favorite summer dress. I, I just love seeing her in my closet. A little sad. I love this dress with all my heart and soul. This is also a favorite and it's like a tear dress. You've seen it on camera once, but like not as a dress. I feel like with, with this dress, I feel like I need to go for a picnic, you know? So we're gonna, she's too, oh, and her back. She's cute. This is summer, this is not, although I love it, it's not, it's not fall. I'm also gonna take out these skirts. This is a linen skirt and this is a bright yellow. I'm also gonna take out this pink sweater. I kept it in pretty late last year actually. And I think I might've been wearing this in the intro to my fall capsule video. What I learned last season, because this was new for me last season, is that because the color is pink, it just feels too spring summer to me that I don't wear it a lot in the fall winter, only if there's like nothing else clean to wear. I don't like that feeling. So we'll, we'll, we'll pull her out. This guy here is just like an oatmeal kind of colored sweater. And this is gonna come out eventually, probably by October, but this is the perfect transitional piece because it is a lightweight sweater. I'm gonna pull out this top. She doesn't look like much on the hanger, but she feels really summer. I'm gonna keep this one because if I have any, if I have wanna make any outfits with like skirts or anything like that, I think this will be, this will be good. I'm also gonna keep these two in here, but they're gonna move. I keep like a, an occasion wear or like nicer kind of fancier things at the other side of my closet. These won't be like an everyday thing and like they still will work into fall. They just will only be for a special occasion. Like I don't need to have them hanging around. So we'll move them. I am actually gonna remove this because it doesn't fit. You haven't seen it anywhere um, because I've been trying to debate whether or not to get it hemmed and it's been two seasons and I haven't. So I'm gonna take that out and 
I'm gonna keep in I'm gonna keep in this skirt because I feel like I can make it work for this time of year as well as this black dress this works and then my overalls which they do feel really summer but I would make them work for this time of year because I just love them so much I do have all my jeans right here all my bottoms I am actually going to remove these. I'm, I don't need a light jean. I think that's everything for now. One thing I wanna try on are these overalls. I got them last season and then didn't really wear them because they didn't really fit great and I sh didn't return them, which is not great. So I'm gonna see if they fit. We're gonna pull them out and listen. Okay, so I bought this blouse for a conference, which I did wear it to. But tell me that this would not be good for like a dark academia look. I mean, it is light, so maybe more like light academia. But imagine like working with this and combining this blouse with maybe a corset or I don't know how that would work or just like mixing it up with combat boots and like a leather skirt, you know, like I think this will be really great and I want to repurpose this. So she's going to come out too. I am also gonna pull down the knits because I wanna figure out like what I actually wanna have in the capsule for, like actually for fall. And these are just like kind of a mess. So they need to be folded anyways. Actually, glad I did that. There's this yellow sweater that I do wear for like spring that I'm gonna take it out because I don't need a yellow sweater. I have all of my shorts here and I'm gonna put them all away except for these they are like a jean short. I do have my bike shorts that I like if I'm gonna wear around the house. I'll have those and I think that'll be good because I don't wear a lot of shorts as it is and I really only need the one pair. So all the shorts are gonna go as well. Now <laughs> it's time to pull out the fall clothes. I am like internally screaming a little bit because I might have taken a look a little while ago. I already know some of what I'm gonna find. This is not cute. This is like a treasure trove, you know? Um, okay, this is a skirt that I never wore last year. The tag is still on it. I'm so excited to wear it this season. This is a fall freaking skirt. Also, my Angela blouse. Oh my god, and my other Angela blouse. These are, oh my god, I love these. I'm, can you tell I just love my Cezanne pieces? Also this, I think, I didn't wear this actually for spring because the neckline was really wide, but we're gonna try again because I do like this. Also, my cords. Corduroy, guys, corduroy is such a fall fabric. You might have also remembered me talking about a sweater vest. This, this is her. This is a sweater vest that a friend gifted me last season. Tell me this is not fall. My favorite, my favorite knits. I don't think it's time for this yet. This is my and other stories knits. And then I also have a couple of like Cezanne knits. I might just like pull out the yellow one so I can look at it because it's so pretty. Oh gosh. Okay, another thing. I will pull out this knit as well. I think she needs like maybe a little bit of a steam. But I did see a picture of something similar with somebody wearing like an Oxford shirt underneath, which I have. Perfect for fall. The other thing I want to try are these pants. These are just like a light gray, black, straight leg pant. And I like the idea of these, but I've never liked the way that they look on. I have other straight leg jeans, but this is just the one that I haven't really made work for whatever reason. Oh yes, my green Franken Oak tank, not tank, t-shirt, great for this season. I also, I think I have more in the next drawer because i know i have a blazer here somewhere okay i have a couple of like of a black and white long sleeve shirt i have my paper bag pants 
I also have just like a black lightweight top like like it's a really lightweight knit so we'll keep that out as well I do have this sweater but I don't think I want to pull it out yet as well because this one is fall but it also feels a little winter because I wore this a lot in the winter so we'll actually keep that in there for now okay we are at door number two I like don't even know what some weight I pulled out a pair of pants they were not the paper bag pants these are the paper bag pants so I have to put whatever those pants were away this okay this knit hallmark fall like look at that color I wore this so much last fall oh yes the blazer Mm. okay great to pull that out I think I might just pull this out so I have something to like kind of like that that stays on it so I have something to look at that I just love oh yes and my skirt this is a wool skirt so it could be just a little bit too much for this season like too warm but we'll pull her out anyways and I feel like I need to try this on because it's just feeling a little bit big I have lost weight since last year so we'll see how this fits back here I have another Cezanne knit and a couple of black knits you can see there's like knits up front here that is winter okay so that's everything let me just show you the, the pile we need to definitely um, fold and press some of this stuff but my god is it just so exciting to see my beautiful fall pieces and this okay if you've been on my Instagram I've been wearing this I wore this a lot in spring and I was wondering if I would want to wear it in fall but I think this is also a really beautiful like lightweight knit for fall that I do think it needs to go get a bit of a wash oh also lastly you haven't seen this yet but this is a new shirt that I got off of Poshmark I think it's gonna be like a really great fall piece let's get hanging and folding and cue the montage all right I have on the overalls and I now know why I did not wear these last year they they fit really awkwardly now if I want to have length in the like in the pants I, I don't like to wear this kind of pant just straight like without a cuff and in order to have a cuff they need to be a little bit longer but they should fit like more like this <laughs> not quite that high but like you know more like this but then you basically have floods and so this does need to probably be pulled up a little bit and then it fits a little bit nicer as well here but i don't want my bottoms to be so short and then if i pull them down they're like big right here like they just they fit weird so hold on let me let me pull them fully up and then i'll roll down the pants and then like maybe put on a pair of shoes hold please okay so i have a chelsea boot on one foot or a chelsea rain boot but still a chelsea boot then i have converse on the other foot i think it's better like i think it's okay but i don't love it they are like higher but they're not as high as they could be so please please let me know your thoughts in the comments these just like might not be the overalls for me maybe i can sell them on poshmark and get a different pair but i don't know sweater with my overalls I hate the overalls I hate them I hate them 
that's it. Back to folding. Okay, so um, I folded up everything except for the pants that need to go on the hangers and I put a couple of things to be washed. I actually pulled this out because this needs dry cleaning. Like it's, can you see? There's actually like a lot of makeup at the collar and this needs to be dry cleaned. And I didn't wash it last season. We're gonna, I'm, I'm going to the grocery store today and there's um, a place that I can get this taken care of so I will do that everything else to go in the closet is ready to go except for the three things I would like to try on all right so the skirt does fit if I wear it lower on the waist like roughly here however like there still is a little bit of room which sure I can wear a belt that's fine but I would probably prefer to wear it more like here which if I wear it up there you can see I think there's a lot of space so I would need to get that taken in to wear it roughly here I don't know that that's worth the money like I mean I would have to go see how much it would be to do that because I have a feeling it's gonna be expensive because this is like actually wool. <laughs> Jury is out on this, I guess. I'll go, when I when I go drop off my top today, I'll go ask them how much it is. And then we'll see. Okay, so here we are. I have put it with a little boot. Okay, so I tried this on without a boot and I just like had the jeans and they fit fine. It was never the fit, it was always just like this style and my take is that if you can't wear your item at its most basic level literally a white t-shirt and pants then I don't think you'll like it in any other kind of capacity you, you know what I'm saying so that's just my take and when I just had these two without shoes I was like ooh, I don't know and then I put it with a shoe and I like it because okay, I wouldn't wear the I wouldn't wear these pants with flats. I would wear this with boot of some kind. So here's my boot, and I kind of love it. I kind of love it. Here's the top. I don't think I would pair it with this fit. Like I don't think this would be the way that I would wear the shirt. However, the goal of this one was basically to see if. I like the shirt and I am wearing a strapless bra because none of my other bras will work with this. It's too, it is literally, it's too wide. How I would style this, I actually think that I would want to do like a whole styling session where I try it with every pair of pants because I do like it. It works. Like I think it's cute and I, I do enjoy it, but because I haven't really worn it, I know it is like a basic stripe top but i would want to know how i would style this i'm gonna go do a styling session probably later today probably not with like this scrunchy and hairstyle i, I like this enough to keep it
closet except for pants. And what I have done is I, I keep my pants on these things. I typically have hung them up like each individual pair separately, but there just aren't enough hangers for that. And I had these and they were just like hanging around. Like I wasn't using them. So I have been for the last roughly six months. On this one are all straight leg pants. So I have a couple of jeans. I have two jeans, a cord, this brown pant. And then I still have a linen pant here because I know it's kind of summery, but the color, you know, is allowing me to wear it for fall. Whenever I put the linen pants away, then I will put out these ones. These are the paper bag pants and they'll go, they'll go with those. On this one are skinny jeans. I currently have three. I have one more that is in the wash. I don't know what this is. And then eventually I'll remove this one. This one is like a, it's a light wash skinny jean. And that one will stay until probably end of the month and then it'll leave. I also, ooh, actually last thing. I did pull this out. This was in my like to sell pile. I actually really like this and I'm gonna bring it out for this season. I think this would look really cute with some of the skirts. I have, I haven't really owned many skirts and dresses. So I think tops like this look really nice with skirts and dresses. Like when I wear it with pants, it just feels a little bit more, I don't know, like I don't wanna say done up, but it feels a little bit more dressy, you know? And I don't always love that. Like I'm not always in that mood. We're gonna pull her back in. I, I'm just gonna fold it and put it on top, but I wanted to show you before I did that. So I actually am missing a brown pair of pants. I haven't given them away or anything, but they're not in my, they're not in this closet and they're not in my drawers. So I don't know where they are. They're probably, I guess, under the bed hidden somewhere. So when I put away the stuff, maybe I'll find them. And if I do, then I'll bring them out. If not, I don't know where they are. Also, just one last thing. I got this bag, this tote bag, which I love. It's from Cafe Good Luck, and it says, dreaming of all the coffee I'll have tomorrow. And then this one is the horse, but in bed, awake, and it says too much coffee. This, I've been wearing all of my outfits with her. I've already put my blouse for dry cleaning in there. So next time I go out, which should be today, she's ready to go. All right, so we're all done. All the clothes are away. And if I'm interested in pulling anything out, like I need the warmer clothes or cooler clothes, they're right at the front of the drawers. I did not find the brown pants, unfortunately. And this gave me a really good idea of what I have and what I might want or need and also kind of killing some of those desires as well i thought i didn't really have any fun tops or tops to wear like with skirts which is not true i i do there was actually a burgundy top i was looking at buying it was a bodysuit but i have one that's similar and if i got the bodysuit it wouldn't really work so i can kick that off the list i also was gonna get another pair of dark wash denim like in a straight style, which I don't need to do either. What I think I would actually need are some sweaters. I know I have two in the wash, a green and a black, which would give me four. Plus I have my cropped one, which will only last so much longer before it's too cold for it. Like I could wear it in like at home, but not around outside like I'm currently doing. So I have four, I think one to two more would be good i mean i have the beige one in here for now and that will work for a while but i don't think it'll last past september so i guess technically right now i do have five and i will eventually get down to four and then i don't know if i'll wear the red one in the winter so one to two more sweatshirts would be great like crew neck sweatshirts another skirt or dress for winter or skirts and dresses for winter for sure i can see that being helpful 
I do actually think maybe a cardigan as well, like if I want to wear skirts, to have a cardigan to wear with that because all the other ones I have are kind of longer. I feel really great about this. I'm really excited. Like, <laughs> I'm really excited. That's everything for me today. And now I'm just looking at my beautiful new wardrobe. It's new because I haven't had a lot of these clothes in here since last fall. So thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me today. Thanks again to Bavaya for sponsoring today's video. And stay tuned because I will be styling outfits here really soon. Thank you for watching and hope to see you again around here soon. Bye.